Haley, you said yourself, Justin and I spoke and patched things up in December of 2018. I'm assuming you meant 2017 because in 2018 you were already married. And if I remember correctly, Justin and Selena were together in December of 2017, were they not? She would hit me up asking me like, oh, do you know where Justin is? She dressed her client to the nines, called the paps to show up and have her client fully upstage the ex's celebration. This exact scenario conveniently happened to Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber. Selena always stops for her fans, always greets the fans. 15 minutes later, Hailey and Madison left out the back door. I think it's time to just, you know, own up to everything. Hailey Bieber has been stalking Selena Gomez to get to Justin. For over a decade, Hailey has forced herself into Justin Bieber's inner circle. She has antagonized Selena and made her message clear. So let's get into it. <laughs> Now that people are starting to pay attention to Hailey Bieber, they're realizing how creepy she's acted towards Selena Gomez. It's giving stalker energy. For example, back in 2018, when Selena was going through things, she went into rehab, and Hailey decided to go and do a drive by Selena's home with her pastor's wife. It's really bizarre that this is even an article. They write, the pair took a trip past Selena Gomez's home while the troubled star has reportedly checked into a psychiatric facility. Justin reportedly stayed with his pastor, most likely praying for Selena's speedy recovery. Why is Haley Baldwin driving by Selena's home when it's completely empty? Is she trying to check and make sure that she's actually like at rehab? Who really knows? But it seems like Haley has a talent when it comes to taking Selena's moments and making them her own. For example, this Twitter account, Pop Faction, put together a thread from 2021 about a moment in 2020 when Selena Gomez released her album and Haley tried to ruin her moment. We have information about this situation because the Instagram account Dumoy posted a bunch of receipts where supposedly Hailey Bieber's stylist was trying to coordinate an effort to ruin Selena's dinner by having Hailey show up and dress really nicely and to pretty much stunt on Selena's moment. Here's one of the emails. This well-known stylist will often run her mouth off about one of her famous clients all the time. The stylist feels like she should get more credit for her client's off-duty street style, basically saying things like, I invented her. Another person replied to that tip and that person made it clear we were talking about Hailey Bieber. They wrote, Style icon is a stretch, seeing as it was more of an affiliation that made her client a bit more popular. And this stylist even believes that she's the reason the client, Hailey Bieber, was able to land her husband, Justin Bieber. And they ask, shouldn't there be an NDA for this type of thing? Which I kind of agree, but Hailey probably believes that this stylist is her friend. Stylist will often run her mouth off about one of her famous clients all the time. Stylist feels that she should get more credit for clients off duty street style, basically saying things like, I invented her and she wouldn't be the style icon she is without me. Harsh and not totally screaming Hailey Bieber stylist vibes just yet, right? Right. However, that now brings us to the next anonymous tip. This next tip reads, style icon is a stretch, seeing as it was more of an affiliation that made her client a bit more popular. The tip goes on to say that no one used to talk about said stylist client and that they can confirm the stylist did talk about her client and how she's dressed her head to toe for years and does not get credit or payment that she deserves. Now here comes the part of the tip that gives me Hailey Bieber vibes. The tip states quote, she even believes she is the reason her client was able to land her partner. Shouldn't there be an NDA for this type of thing? Now this is when everything gets messy because this stylist decided to create some chaos by having Haley show up at Selena's moment. There is a popular restaurant called Craig's in West Hollywood and Selena Gomez went there with a couple of her friends to celebrate her album. So Haley's intentions were to dress up, look really nice, and then be there at the same time as Selena so that she would feel some type of way or that she would get some attention for being at the same location as 
as Selena, who is her husband's long-term ex. And dressed her client to the nines, called the paps to show up and have her client fully upstage the ex's celebration. The ex was devastated and so was the girl that was duped by the stylist for info. Do you feel that upper lip sweat coming? Because same. Now again, although these tips did not mention the celebrity stylist by name, this exact scenario conveniently happened to Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber. Before we get ahead of ourselves, we were able to figure out who this person was because the tips gave it away. Like this one, for example, if this is the same stylist everyone is talking about, she also used to secretly feed stories to Us Weekly that she was hooking up with her client, comedian Russell Brand. So the stylist's name is Maeve Riley, and it looks like she's trying to get some attention from Haley. This article writes, Haley was dining out at the same restaurant with her friends, including Brooklyn Beckham's rumored ex-girlfriend Madison Beer, which I want to bring up Brooklyn in a moment. Ultimately, her mission was successful because this stylist Maeve has some weird obsession with Selena as well and knew exactly where she was going to be. So they got their photos, they had their moment, and there was even a person there, Sarah Stalker, I believe her father, ooh, Stalker Sarah, I believe her father was there, and they captured the moments when Selena left and then Haley left after. Having her album release party at Craig and Haley Baldwin and Madison Beer just kind of showed up and went in the back door. Um, and I just always thought it was really weird because it was Selena's party and it was just odd. So at this point, they're basically all inside. This is just a video of Selena leaving and then um, it'll be Haley and Madison leaving as well. Selena, 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 Selena always stops for her fans, always greets the fans. So Selena left and she was on her way, but Madison Beer was with Hailey Bieber at this time, and I think Madison knew that there was something up, because she did not want to be seen by the paparazzi. Now leaves. And about 15 minutes later, Hailey and Madison left out the back door. And they were really trying, like, they had them shut the lights off and they were pulling this thing, like, she really didn't want to be seen um, for some reason. So yeah, again, no hate towards anyone in this video, um, just really weird. Madison probably felt something going on in that moment because if she's being sucked into this drama, it's not going to be good for her reputation. And fans were really upset to see that Madison was supporting someone like Haley, who's trying to pretty much antagonize Selena. Immediately once the story broke, the mean comments started rolling in on Madison Beer's Instagram. People were commenting snake emojis, and it got really bad to the point that she actually woke up the next morning and tweeted this. Nothing like waking up and being told to kill yourself, which is obviously not okay at all. There wasn't much that Selena could do in the moment to fix this. Selena ended up unfollowing Madison on Instagram, which definitely fueled the fire, but Madison made it clear that she's been friends with Haley for about 10 years. So they went to dinner. Um, it was a coincidence. Nothing was planned, but that doesn't align with what the stylist was telling the news. Of course, Selena ended up being the bigger person in this situation and put out a statement. This is disgusting reading all of this. This wasn't intentional whatsoever. I'm so disappointed that people would speak to someone, Madison Beer, like this. I've known Madison since she was a baby and watched her to continue to become the woman she is. There is no issue. I don't think there are any issues there. I think the issues are with Haley, and she seems to be like the ringleader in all of this. As I mentioned earlier, I brought up Brooklyn Beckham, and I wanted to bring up a few weird things I found about Haley's relationship with Brooklyn Beckham. Keep in mind that Brooklyn is a lot younger than Haley, and at one point in 2014, she tweeted out, Brooklyn Beckham knows I'll be waiting for him when he turns 18. And it looks like they spent a lot of time together at Coachella. One source said they weren't making out or anything, but they were being very flirty and giggly with one another and didn't leave each other's side. People are calling Haley a groomer because of this, and there's definitely more when it comes to her relationship with Brooklyn. But I found another picture, and I'm not entirely sure who's in this photo, but she's like kissing a little boy and, um, the caption reads, when you turn 18, check mark, which is super creepy. And then I found another tweet online where she like posts a picture of a boy and writes, call when you're 18 because I'll be waiting, which maybe this is Brooklyn Beckham, but I did 
look up this tweet and it is legitimate. Like her fan pages were retweeting it back then. So it's not something that's just made up. I'm not entirely sure what her like, creepy obsession is with little white boys, but it's weird. What's also weird is Haley's relationship with this kid named Ronnie. So Ronnie is one of Selena Gomez's biggest fans. He waits outside of hotels and restaurants to get pictures with Selena. And it looks like Haley actually befriended him because of his relationship with her. There are multiple videos where you can see Haley Bieber in 2012 stalking Justin with known celebrity finder and Selena Gomez fan Ronnie. So what I've learned about Haley is that she has a lot of extra time on her hands. Like she's able to go and follow these celebrities and force herself into their inner circle. For example, Ronnie shares about a time where Justin Bieber went into a restaurant and there was a bunch of fans waiting and Haley actually went into the same restaurant to go and get food with her friend, but really just to be closer to Justin. I decided to get a table in the hotel. Me and my friends, we were like 15. So we were out in the cold, like just waiting. So the way that hotel was set up was there was a big frame open between the restaurant and the hotel lobby. So I guess she saw Justin walk out and then her and her friend ran out and she came out to try to get a picture and she was in the crowd. She was behind him like she was trying to make her way through and I believe she didn't get a picture. She was tight. She was pissed. Ronnie continues to share that after Justin was done eating, he left with his friend and Haley rushed out of the restaurant and wasn't happy when she didn't get a picture with Justin. So isn't it weird to like see that he's like literally married one of his like biggest fans, someone who would go and stalk him. Like she really manifested that marriage with him. And then that kind of just jumpstart our friendship. We kind of, uh, we follow each other on Twitter. We follow each other on Instagram. And every now and then, whenever he was in New York, he, she would hit me up asking me like, oh, do you know where Justin is? And she would always use uh, like Kylie and Kendall as a scapegoat. Like she would be like, oh, they want to know. Like, So Haley would work with Selena Gomez fans to figure out where Justin is so that she could happen to run into him, which just really doesn't happen in the real world. But I mean, Haley doesn't seem to be living in the real world because when she was asked about her relationship with Justin, it clearly started while he was, you know, in cahoots with Selena. But she claims that it didn't, yet there's so much proof to suggest that she's lying. Proof that Haley lied about not being involved with Justin while he was with Selena. No, I didn't want to be the one to wake the tea up, but Haley, you said yourself, Justin and I spoke and patched things up in December of 2018. I'm assuming you meant 2017 because in 2018 you were already married. And if I remember correctly, Justin and Selena were together in December of 2017, were they not? Yeah, they were. And I don't know if you guys recall, but there was an article that came out in December of 2017, like towards the end, that said Justin and Selena were both in couples therapy because of Haley Baldwin. So even if you were not inside of him, the fact that there was a communication there means that you lied and you had your own agenda. I think it's time to just, you know, own up to everything. <laughs> Make it make sense. It just doesn't make sense to me. But I do not condone all the hate going to Haley. I mean, I think that it's good that people are realizing, like, who she is. But, like, I mean, at some point, there's no reason to go and leave hateful messages because um, I think she knows. Like, she she knows. She definitely knows. But here's my email. If you guys have any other video ideas for me, let's go ahead and open this letter right here. It looks like it's from the future, Mr. and Miss Gibson. So let's go ahead and see what they sent me. Oh my gosh, this looks so cute. Okay, I think it's a wedding invite. And last time someone sent me a wedding invite, they're like, don't show the address on camera. So I'm going to try not to do that. But look how cute the little, like sticker is here. Alexander and Rachel. Oh my gosh, you're getting married in Texas. Like, should I really go to someone's wedding? This is so cute in April, April 22nd. <gasps> Can you imagine? That would be so much fun. Oh, thank you for sending this. I would love to show up. We're so excited for our upcoming wedding. And we know you are too. Can you imagine, what if they didn't send me this, and then I, like, was just sent this by someone and ended up showing up to their wedding? This is really nice, though, really sweet. I would show the, the card, but I don't really want to show the address of where it is, because I don't want to, like, give you some unwanted attention. But, oh, thank you for inviting me, Alexander and Rachel. So sweet, and I hope you have a beautiful wedding. If I'm not there, maybe I will be. Until next time, I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye, guys. Bye.